All right, guys, today I'm going to be going through around the house, removing the covers off of the plants we covered and the pipes we covered from the Arctic blast that we had. So I'll show you what we did and uh, take another look at the uh, plants after the second freeze came by. A little bird's nest in our jasmine. All right, I'm gonna take all these blankets. It's supposed to get up to 72 today. I already got the big one spread out. I'm gonna let them dry out in the sun. But as you can tell, things are still really, really bad. Uh, but we're gonna stay optimistic. And right now I'm gonna work on this whole section here, get the covers off, get them laid out in the sun so that way they can dry a little bit. And then uh, go around to the other side and I'll show you what everything looks like over there. We, we even covered up the well pipes. They've been on since last Friday. So um, today's the first day after about four days of coldness, so it's just not looking well. And here's one of the banana racks. Um, they're turning black, so this weekend we're gonna go around cutting down the bananas that have the racks that didn't survive. That's one of them. Another one is gonna be over by my daughter's window. What is it? What is it, Foxy? Well, yeah. What? What? I'm outside. I know it's nice enough to open the window. Ah. <laughs> All right, here's the rack by my daughter's window. As you can tell, it's completely mush. They're soft. So they've gone bad. So we'll probably cut this down and uh, get rid of it. Now the ones without racks, we're gonna wait a few days. Oops, we're gonna wait a few days to see. Yes, Foxy, I know. And then um, if they start pushing out new leaves, what we'll do is like with these, you can see it's still green. Oh, I can get it to focus, there it is. It's still green at the base. So what we normally do is we cut it off right here that way the plant will push out the rest of that leaf and another leaf will then come after that. So that's what we're gonna try and do here in the next couple of days is try and cut to make it, you know, stimulate it to uh, go. Our pineapples didn't like being covered. I got more over on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish uncovering the pipes and everything but uh, the curry leaf was covered and as you can tell it took a big hit so we're just gonna I'm just gonna keep going get things uncovered all right this is our pineapple row so I'm gonna go ahead I just got it all untied and everything so we're gonna see how they did underneath here Okay, looks like they did pretty good. Uh, flowers and this volunteer tomato looks like they took a hit. But it's weird because all the tomatoes are bright green, as you can tell. So, I don't know if they'll be any good. It's really weird. It looks like the flowers... Definitely took a little bit of a hit, but they still look like they're holding on. They look, these plants look like a way better than some of the other stuff that didn't do very well. <laughs> so let's take it from here. Yeah, pretty much 
it's just dead. Um, you know, everything's just dead. The only thing that really survived are the herbs. Bok choy, these are carrots, that big plant right here. This is cilantro we just never harvested. And more carrots. So, um, it's weird. We didn't cover these at all. None of this was covered. So, just goes to show you have plants do different things. And then over here, this was my buzz button. Buzz button's gone, but my spearmint survived the freeze. It's just weird. All right, got some more pipes to uncover, and then I'll show you guys over there. All right, so over here in uh, zone three of our watering, I don't know, and yeah, they kind of look like they're turning. I got another rack right there. I got a couple of blooms that started to come out, but I don't know if those bananas will survive. Cassava took a hit. My lemon and lime tree, which I'm glad I'm gonna be able to get to this year, get those, uh, the uh, blackberry bush, the thorny blackberries off of them. Um, yeah, this is, looks like the pawpaw tree made it and the olive tree, that didn't even phase it. And here's our little bananas, big bananas. And then um, we lost one of our breast roosters during the freeze. Um, we don't know if he was sick with something and we just didn't see it. But uh, we came out here one afternoon and he was dead and gone. So that's the one breast rooster we have left. And we put his girls into here. Um, the girls seem to be fine. We're not sure. But um, I'm going to today, since it's really nice and warm, I'm going to give them a bunch of grub terra. And still haven't got a name for him. I'm thinking along the lines of Drill Sergeant or Sarge. Because he is a butthead. And then we have another rooster that showed up. Our neighbor. She said if we could catch it, we could keep it. But he likes to roost in trees. And food does not seem to coach him closer to us um i gotta uncover here and then i gotta figure out how i can get any here and uncover donald put bricks on top to help with the passion fruit so i'm gonna see what i can do to get those down but i'll show you guys everything in here once i get it uncovered all right Got the covers hanging. Looks like the strawberry tree took a hit. Our coffee plants took a hit. Passion fruit seems to be hanging on where it was covered. It's good. Same with the dragon fruit. Uh, where we had it covered seemed to be doing okay. Um, miracle fruit, it's okay. That's um, mango. Jacoba Cava seems to be okay. Obviously, the papaya is gone. Even the pups. And our Toro took a huge hit. There's the coffee plants. So, it's just... Uh, we'll just have to go with it and see what, what can be done. That's the only thing we can do. So, that's all that's pretty much happened, huh, Bonnie? Lydia, Lydia, what you doing, guys? Huh? Hey, Bonnie.
bunny girl. And um, we think Bonnie might be pregnant again. So if she is, uh, she'll be due in March, April. So we will see. Hi, Lydia. Huh. So there we go. Say hi, everybody. Thank you.